Hello everyone, this is Karen Grace Clark, Program Manager of Gold Lactation Online Conference. I'm here interviewing one of the finalists in our Gold Star Award in Lactation for 2013. I would like to welcome Chantal Monar as part of the Milky Way movie, one of the finalists for, finalists for this year's Gold Star Award. Begun in 2009 by friends and colleagues Chantal Monar, IBCLC and Jennifer Davidson, IBCLC, the Milky Way's mission is to restore the phenomenon of the nursing mother by normalizing breastfeeding and in inspiring each woman to trust her body, trust her baby, trust herself. Over many years as nurses, teachers, and healthcare professionals, Chantelle and Jennifer recognize that many women feel intimidated by the medical system and that the locus of control is firmly in the hands of doctors and nurses when it comes to their birthing, breastfeeding, and early postpartum experiences. Desiring to use their expertise to change that, the Milky Way team realized that a much greater effect would be possible by using film media to reach the broadest audience. The Milky Way movie will bring awareness and education about the breastfeeding mother to many who have never given her much thought. If selected as the winner of the Gold Star Award, the funds will be used for finishing the film. Finishing includes post-production processes such as color correction for the entire film, finalizing the end credits in After Effects, and design and artwork for film logo, movie poster, and the DVD cover. The editor must remove all glitches prior to the final master DVD burn, which will then be ready for mass DVD duplication. In order to reach the largest audience possible, they will put some of the award toward marketing and social media as well as a new and interactive website for the film and another one for the Milky Way Foundation. This film has great potential to reach many people, especially mothers. If just the midwives, doulas, and lactation specialists that Jennifer and Chantel personally know in Los Angeles and Orange County were to show the film to their classes and clients over a three-month period, they would reach at least 300 mother-baby dyads in a short period of time. Beyond Southern California, the reach of this film has the potential to be vast. The Milky Way team has partnered with the Orange County Breastfeeding Coalition and the Best for Babes Foundation and are active members of the International Lactation Consultants Association and the United States Lactation Consultants Association, all of which have large memberships and are anxious for the release of the Milky Way movie. Welcome, Chantelle. It's wonderful to have you here today. Thank you so much. It's great to be here. I have some questions for you, and I think our, our listeners would really like to know a little bit more about this entire process for you. First, can you tell me a little bit about your background in the breastfeeding arts? Yes, I uh, was originally a home birth midwife uh, in the early 80s, but then I just decided to uh, become a registered nurse and get a whole bunch of experience. So I worked at the University of California Irvine Medical Center for over 20 years. And it was there in comparison to the home birth setting that I was able to compare and contrast the way mothers were treated. And it's a part of conventional medicine. It's embedded in conventional medicine to separate them because you have pediatricians and obstetricians. So as soon as the baby's born, it goes under pediatrics. And the care is all, it, it's not integrated with the mother. So that's where I got my foundation of wanting to keep the mothers together and how important that was. Excellent. Thank you for sharing that. Can you tell us a little bit more about this organization that you're involved in, the one that has applied for the Gold Star Award? Yes, as a result of uh, Jennifer's and my individual experiences, now she works in a pediatric practice and it's very progressive. Um, so here I am working at a university teaching hospital that's completely backwards and she's working in this progressive practice. And we just got together and realized that even though one mother at a time is very valuable, that teaching, one-on-one -on -one teaching is very valuable, we decided that we wanted to reach the broader culture. And so we just started creating this, uh, it's called Peace of My Heart Productions, and we just decided we were going to do, use film media to reach the broadest audience possible here and abroad. 
And we actually have a few more films we'd like to do because we just really see a need to change uh, the way people think about mothers. That's excellent. It's really, it's really inspiring to hear about your journey and how passionate you are about this organization. And also to hear that, that doing what you've done with the Milky Way movie has actually inspired you to perhaps continue um, on, this, uh, on this creative journey, um, you know, to share what you know and, and to reach mothers. So that's, that's really awesome. Thank you for letting us know. How did you hear about the Gold Star Award in Lactation, Chantal? Well, uh, you actually personally contacted me last year about possibly using our sizzle or whatever we had done with the film at the end of your conference, and we were not ready at that time. But so since then, I've been looking into uh, the, your the gold conferences and just keeping. I think I get your emails or I, I can't remember, but it's Facebook or something that I'm hooked in with you. And so I was just exploring your website one day and saw it and thought, well, <laughs> might as well try. Awesome. It's so true because we have nothing to lose if we don't try. And I think that's, uh, that's part and parcel of what you've recognized through this whole journey is, you know, what have we got to lose? But I love hearing that, that you're hooked in with me. <laughs> I am, definitely. That's awesome. Okay. Um, tell us a little bit about why the Milky Way movie has applied for the Gold Star Award in Lactation. Well, our goal is to reach the broadest audience, and um, so there's a lot involved in that. And uh, one of the things that Jennifer and I have discovered is making a film is a very <laughs> astoundingly expensive process. And uh, every step of the way requires hard cash. That's just all there is to it. And so we've become rather shameless. <laughs> we apply for grants. We beg. <laughs> We ask. So that's basically it, is that it, because we have, are committed to this, this is one of the biggest commitments besides my child that I've done in my life. And we have committed a huge amount of our own resources and uh, people have contributed to us and given to us and we want to provide the people who have supported us, oh I'm going to cry, with the best possible film because they trusted us. See they've trusted us with their life energy, which is their money, and we want to give them the best possible film. So we keep trying to increase the amount of money that uh, we get so that we can do a high quality product. Thank you for sharing that, and thank you for sharing your passion and your emotion. I can see that you are very attached, and that's how things get done. Um, you know, and I, I appreciate your honesty there. You're right. Um, film production and the creative arts are very, very expensive, and you know, you never know. Um, you might win the Gold Star Award, and that that might actually help you guys with some of those um, with some of the projects that you have on the go there. So, with that in mind, can you tell us if you do uh, are selected as the winner, what will your organization do with those funds? I think specifically, there's a few. There's you know we've locked the picture, we've locked the sound, and now we can go in and and you know as we play it, we see little glitches and. There's things that need to be changed and color correction, all these things that I sort of mentioned in the, um, that you mentioned in the introduction. Um, and the social media, the, 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 one of the first way that, ways that we are going to present it to the broad audience is through the film festivals. And of course there's always a fee and you know we can't sell, start selling this yet until we've done all the film festivals because of their funny rules. So you know we we want to be able to afford to get it as out there in as many film festivals as possible because we, we don't want to just sing to the choir. We want to reach people who maybe never thought about, well, what's so important about that? Because it's not part of our daily, it's not part of our lives anymore so much, except for the kids that grow up in a nursing household. But, you know, that's actually in the United States a pretty rare um, at exclusive breastfeeding, it's pretty rare past the first three months or so. So in, that costs a lot of money to be able to, you know, get the broader audience um, on board, you know, so that they want to see it and, you know, just all the sort of marketing end of it as well as the finishing editing. So I think that's where yeah. it's all going to go. Yeah, and those finishing costs, I think, are, are 
you know, that's where the tedious work comes in, I think. We, we don't necessarily see that as being that creative, although it's a huge part of the creative process. But, yeah. you know, there's this, there's this saying out there uh, that good writers don't write, they rewrite. And yes. I think perhaps, perhaps a, good, a good film producer doesn't produce a film. They, they edit and they cut and they clip and they edit some more. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I had no idea. I knew, well, when I wrote my master's thesis, I, I rewrote it at least 25 times. And I knew we were going to have to, oh, but I had no idea how long, how many hours those poor editors spent in that dark room. 15 hours a day they gave us. And we were in there with our composers, many hours with them just working side by side. And I'll tell you, it is tedious. And, you know, of course, in the middle of it, I don't know if you heard this, but in July, we were burglarized and our editor's computer was stolen and all our sound equipment was stolen. And, I did not hear that. Oh, my gosh. So, you know, that set us back. And, oh, my gosh. And so we had to, you know, it's not just a computer. It's all the programs and everything. But, yeah, so it's just amazing how much tedious work is involved. You're right. It is, it's not the glamorous side of it. But it's what creates the beautiful product at the end. And yeah, that we have quite a, f a fair amount of just, just finishing little, they're, they're little things, but like you said, they're just tedious and kind of nitpicky almost. So what do you believe will be the long-term impacts of the project, you know, of doing this finishing work and even then just producing this movie and getting it to that highest quality? That, that you intend to get it to, what, what will be the long-term impacts then um, if you win the I, gold star? Our goal is to impact how people see mothers and babies. We want to have people see them as a unit. You know, when you're pregnant, you see them as together. But once they're born, we have 100 years of separating uh, mothers and babies. And we are absolutely committed to make helping people see how important the mother is. And, and we did that through, we went to Germany and showed how they put the preemies, just they've created a whole hospital where the mom is in her own room. Uh, the NICU is not a typical NICU. All the NICU equipment is in the room with her baby and just her, that's it, and her family. And she, he, she cares for the baby, they teach her how to do everything. And all of that is in our film so that you can see how these babies thrive in a way that we don't see in America. And um, it's, it's really phenomenal. And we want, the reason we use that as a cornerstone of our film is to show how important the mother is to this baby, that when the baby is on her chest, that baby is home. And that it's really important, no matter the size, no matter the illness, no matter the age, that that baby stays with, with its mother. And so we even go into maternity leave practices because it continues until the baby's no longer a baby. And that's different for every child developmentally. So it's, it's, that's our, our desired impact. And we're hoping we've done this film in such a way that it draws you in and by the end you realize, oh, that's what they're talking about. I wanna do that, I can do that, and this is beautiful. Mm -hmm. I really appreciated what you said just now about, you know, part of what you're doing is trying to help everybody recognize that when a, when a mother holds her baby on her chest, that baby is home. Yeah. And that, that, re that really hit home <laughs> with uh -huh. me, and it's a beautiful statement. Now, Chantal, just some final thoughts um, that you would like our listeners to know about. Oh, I think I would like um, them to know that we are um, – well, that we're not filmmakers, that even though we live out in, you know, the filmmaking capital of the world in Hollywood, that it's a, uh, this is a project of our passion and that we are passionate about mothers and babies and just re restoring the mother to where a doctor will listen to a mother when she says, I think there's something wrong, but I don't know what it is. And he listens as opposed to, ah, you know, the baby looks fine. I, 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 we're passionate about bringing the mother and the baby back together and yeah, we're so passionate that we have dedicated the last few years of our lives to it uh, a lot. 
Well, that's awesome. Thank you so much for sharing your time with us today, Chantal, and for just sharing your passion and for letting us know about what this project means to you. And uh, just a final note to everybody listening to this interview, um, if you'd like to vote in the Gold Star Award in Lactation, there are three finalists, and you may cast one vote um, for uh, one of the finalists. Just visit our web page at www.goldlactation.com. You can see a web link on the screen there in the chat box. And if you'd like some more information about The Milky Way, please visit www.themilkywaymovie.com. And I'd like to say just finally, Chantel, thank you so much. It has been a pleasure talking.